Nickelodeon holds a nostalgic place in the hearts of many fans, and one component of their programming that has had a particularly long-lasting impact are its cartoon series. Nickelodeon created a wide range of hits in the 1990s and early 2000s, whether they were investigating the mundane lives of ordinary kids or tackling the more fantastical, and cartoon fans debate which of these came out on top. So here is our top 10 Nickelodeon cartoons of all time. Here we go. First up at number 10 is Danny Phantom, running from 2004 to 2007. Danny Phantom, a popular cartoon that fans want to see return, garnered a lot of praise throughout its three season run. Danny Phantom follows its titular protagonist Danny after he becomes a human ghost hybrid in a lab accident, affording him skills that he then uses to protect his home from other ghoulish attacks. It combines action and comedy with superhero adventures. Its distinct characters and sense of humor have kept the show popular even a decade after it has ended. At number 9 is Rocco's Modern Life, running from 1993 to 1996. The ludicrous Rocco's Modern Life follows Rocco, an anthropomorphic wallaby, and his buddies Filbert and Heifer as they go about their daily lives in O-Town. Rocco's Modern Life was criticized during and after its run for its perceived adult humor, which frequently used innuendo and sarcasm. Nonetheless, it is these qualities of the show that have contributed to it gaining a cult following in the 25 years since its end. At number 8 is Cat Dog, running from 1998 to 2005. Cat Dog saw the two animals actually merged as conjoined twins, based on the widely believed concept that cats and dogs are natural enemies. The show follows the siblings Cat and Dog as they negotiate life alongside one another, hindered by their widely different personalities. Cat Dog saw the duo constantly face hardships due to their opposing viewpoints. Despite Cat's proclivity for deception and Dog's greater reputation in their community, they still remain the best of friends. At number 7 is Avatar The Last Airbender, running from 2005 to 2008. Avatar The Last Airbender, which subsequently launched its own franchise, changed people's perceptions of what a Nickelodeon animation, or perhaps any animation, could be. In a universe where certain people may utilize bending to control one of the four elements, water, earth, fire, and air, the Avatar is a term given to a single person who can wield all four elements. The Last Airbender was followed by its equally acclaimed sequel, The Legend of Korra, which was known not just for its rich characters, but also for its sophisticated study of subjects not typically seen in cartoons, such as war and imperialism, to name just a few. At number 6 is Doug, from 1991 to 1999. Doug, the very first Nicktoon that aired for the majority of the 90s, explored the daily life of its main character, 11-year-old Doug Funny. Doug, a sensitive and creative young man, frequently frets about fitting in at school, and the series depicts him dealing with everyday incidents in his life, which he meticulously documents in his journal. Doug was a famous coming-of-age narrative, remembered for its imaginative sequences and sympathetic tone. At number 5 is The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, from 2002 to 2006. The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, based on the 2001 film Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, introduced computer animation to Nickelodeon's cartoon lineup. It relates the story of Jimmy, a little boy with a gifted scientific mind who frequently invents things, and the adventures he has with his pals, which are frequently disrupted by the failure of a particular invention. Though there were a couple odd episodes of Jimmy Neutron, to put it lightly, the cartoon's gadgets, as well as Jimmy's memeable best buddies Carl and Sheen, were strong selling points for the show. At number 4 is Hey Arnold from 1996 to 2004. Hey Arnold is set in the fictional city of Hillwood, Washington, and follows Arnold alongside his friends Gerald and Helga as they explore their neighborhood and cope with problems, either their own or sometimes with others. Some of the best shows like Hey Arnold match its hilarious yet kind tone, or achieve success through their unique character designs. Hey Arnold made excellent use of its city location, and highlighted the community in which its characters were involved. Number 3 goes to the Rugrats, from 1991 to 2004. Rugrats was one of the first Nicktoons, and covers the lives of its newborn and toddler ensemble of characters. The cartoon stories frequently featured the Rugrats fleeing adult supervision and embarking on adventures that contrasted the reality of their circumstances with that fanciful way the toddlers perceived it. 
Among the life lessons taught by Rugrats, fans will remember the show for teaching them about various cultural and religious traditions, especially the Pickles family's Jewish faith. In 2021, a computer animated reboot of the cartoon debuted. At number 2 is The Fairly Odd Parents from 2001 to 2017. The Fairly Odd Parents is a fanciful comedy in which 10 year old Timmy Turner is bestowed with two magical godparents, Cosmo and Wanda, who grant nearly his every wish. But as one might think, having such power frequently drives Timmy to ask for wishes that backfire in some way and he spends much of his time dealing with the consequences of said desires. And finally at number one is Spongebob Squarepants, running from 1999 to the present day. Unsurprisingly, Spongebob Squarepants is our favorite Nickelodeon cartoon of all time. Spongebob's longevity alone distinguishes it from other Nicktoons, but so too does its story, in which protagonist Spongebob and his buddies encounter adventures in Bikini Bottom. Because of the show's success, several memes have been created from it, providing the animation continuous exposure as part of online culture. So there you have it folks, did you like today's video? Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite Nickelodeon show was. With this though we're going to wrap up the video, so if you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos like this one. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video, but until then, I'll catch you later.